welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. Today, we are going to go over this week's mini swap from the Facebook group Love RTS. Love RTS is a group of lovely creators who follow Miss Janet Madison at RTS Scrapbooking. And as always, anything that I talk about, I will have in the link below. So just hit that describe button and click on those links, especially if you would like to join an embellishment swap, which is what this is. Now, each week we have a theme. Um, I have an entire series that shows every embellishment that I have made for these swaps in the Facebook group. So I'll put that in the description as well. And this week the theme is music. Now what I didn't do, <laughs> typical me, I did not get some white cardstock so I could show you what I have created. I made some guitars. And I just took a scrap paper. Everything was made of scraps. So the flowers was made from scraps. You guys have seen me, seen me, um, shown how to do those in the embellishments, um, scraps to embellishments series. Um, the guitars I fussy cut out of scraps. I printed off just, I just printed off a little, um, Oh, what am I trying to say? A um, guitar and I cut it out and then I traced it on what paper I wanted to use. And then I just used some sentiments that I needed to use up. These are Tim Holtz. This is a smile that I had laying around. I don't remember what that was even from. It was recent though. And then I took some very small, they're tiny, um, iridescent uh, flat back beads and I put them as the center of the flowers. So I love how they turned out. I love music. I love country music. I love rap music. I love you just about name any genre and I like it. I thought we would do these three pink ones. They're the last three I need to make. I'm trying to get my paper put back up here and we will just have some fun. Now, in the Scraps to Embellishment series, I did a portion of that series was all about flowers and how I make them, how I use up the tiniest of scraps, and I told you I sort them by color. You will notice that, once again, here I am doing monochromatic. So I'll pink with pink. Um, if you look at this paper, it does have some red in it, so I'm doing red and a little bit of gray. Um, this one, I could have went with teal or red. I already had the red out, so I did do red. And these, I will do pink. You could do green, I suppose. I like dark green if you wanted to. You just need to be able to have a pen to trace it out. Um, and I even found some bigger ones. Now, I already cut this one out. If this would have fit in the envelope, I would have done this. And I thought about doing it in two parts and then just washi taping them together and sending them, but I was like, that's awfully big, like it was. So I found a smaller one, I printed that out, cut it out, and then I just traced it. You do the same thing here, and then you will notice I've inked these two. I'll ink this one. Now I ink to save myself <laughs> from my own mistakes. <laughs> I do. Inking hides a lot. <laughs> So that's what I did. And let me just get this all done. Now I've been sitting here for probably, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Maybe a little longer than that. I've been watching YouTube. So I've been watching Miss Terry Rice. I should put her link below. I will. She is so creative. I was watching her video. I don't know if you guys have watched her or not. Um, she makes a lot of her own embellishments and... <laughs> Oh my gosh, she did this whole stitching thing with some eyelets and paper and it was amazing. It was really, really cool. Definitely, definitely encourage you to check out other creators such as Terry. I will, I'll put her link below. She makes some cool stuff. She recently made a rolling pin and had a giveaway and I actually won, I'm so excited. So, all right, so you saw me dump out. I just have this little container from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to pick out some flowers. Let's see, that one would be really pretty. We could do two little, little ones there. And I'm just going to set them um, here. Now, the best thing about sorting your scraps by color and doing monochromatic type of stuff is that you will automatically... How should I put this? You will automatically find um, 
what you're looking for. Like you don't have, it's all pink. So it can be pink on pink and still look great. So you don't have to stress about it as much, I guess is the way I would put it. Okay, I'm liking that, not so much that. So what if I put this one here? Now I just sit here and I sort. So there's three flowers for that one. I did three on each one. And I'm liking this. You don't have to be super picky, but you know, if you like a certain thing, I think you should go with it. Oh, look, here's a big one. Okay, so we can layer those. Now I have these two. What can I find? There's one and here's another in the same color. Okay, so after I did that, then I sat here and I inked each flower. So we'll just ink these and I just assembly lined them. I did them four at a time. I got to be on a few teams this time, so it should be fun. Little fun story, my dad used to sing in bars. I didn't know that, I've always loved to sing. Um, used to be on a praise team at church back home in Montana. One of the joys of my life, um, definitely, was to share that. I am not the best singer in the world, but I do enjoy singing. And apparently, now my dad's been passed away since I was, oh, let's see, Jesse Dojoy is 28. I have ink all over my fingers, so don't mind that. Jesse Dojoy is 28. Joy, blah, 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 blah. Let's start over. <laughs> Joy is 28, so um, I call my daughter Jessica, Jessie Joy. So she's 28, so mm, she was two when my dad passed away, so a long time, 25, 26 years. But um, I remember always being around music. My mother loves music. My dad obviously loved, loved music, but I did not realize that he sung at bars when he was stationed in California in the Air Force. What? Like, that shocked me when my cousin told me that. Explains a lot why I'm so passionate about it. My husband's mother, beautiful voice. She had a voice. She passed away a few years back from, she had cancer. But um, she had a Loretta Lynn kind of voice. Tammy Wynette, Wynette, just pretty, pretty voice. My scrap room is actually the decor in it because it is a spare bedroom. I've told you guys that also. Um, I have a Murphy bed in here. So while I get to use all the space, if we do have guests, you know, I do clean it up really quick and share. I don't know why they can't just stay outside. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so she, oh, she has some beautiful karaoke, online videos that we can always go back, but gorgeous voice, gorgeous voice. Indeed, my son, Junior, loves to sing. He, you ready? This is awesome. He's 12, but he actually writes songs down and makes little tunes to them. I just am like, my husband and I, with all the struggles he goes through, if you've watched my videos, you know some of the things we've gone through with him and I tell him all the time, He's going to be famous and rich, and he's going to be the one that pays off our house. You know how kids, they get all famous, and they pay off their parents' house. Yeah, that's going to be him. <laughs> we tease him all the time. My husband's like, sing it, son. <laughs> he just, he's such, so fun. Joy, joy, joy. Anyway, so I'm going to finish that. One more to go. Like I said, I just assembly line these and line them up and shoot them out. <laughs> That's like an old Western, right? Okay. So from here, I would take the first one and I'm going to layer it. Now, since I have two this color, I will put this one on top as the dominant. And I just picked one side or the other. I wasn't really picky. Use a dab of glue, just like that. Eh, yeah, I want these roses to show. They're pretty, aren't those pretty? And dab of glue on this one, and then you're just gonna offset them, okay? And see, that makes the color stand out, but not be overwhelming, and it looks layered. And we'll just tuck this one in there a little bit. And we'll just do the same at the top. See if we can tuck it underneath there. Push it down, oops, this one came off. Must not have put enough glue on there. I got the shakes today. It's probably cause 
I'm getting older. Getting older. Okay, so then I'll do the next one. Mm, we'll do this side this time. Hold it there for a minute. We'll make this the bottom. Now, you, there's some of these I did um, that I um, didn't use. They didn't match. Like, here's a darker red. These two look the same, but I just, that's the best part. You can dump out your color of scraps that you have and just play have fun and you know what you didn't use dyes you used up pieces of paper that you would have thrown away definitely definitely one of my favorite ways is to i just kind of viewed this as a tag right so instead of an actual tag i have a guitar i think it turned out cute not perfect, but definitely pretty. At least that's my opinion here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I pick out, I need three sentiments. So I just went through my Tim Holtz. What, what is this Howard? Well, who's going to just, I mean, I guess I know somebody named Howard, but what is that going to do? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, within my heart is okay. I looked at this like finding lyrics to a song. <laughs> In fair light of day, there's two. Um, that one's a little... Oh, look, this one even says sweetly singing. We're definitely using that one. Okay, that's how I looked at it when I was picking them out. Like they were lyrics to a song. So then I'm just going to tuck this one here. And I don't have to put glue on them, but I do because... I don't want them to come off. Okay, there's that one. Let's see, these are both fairly long. Let me see which one will fit where. Maybe if we come across here, we can fit this longer one. There we go, just like that. We'll put some rhinestones on there. Well, they're not even rhinestones, they're like beads, whoops. And this one will tuck right in there. If I can tuck it, I do a little bit. Let's see here, maybe not. If I lift up this little petal, because remember, we only glued the middle. Oops, can't seem to get a hold of it. Yeah, there we go, okay. So just like that. Now, I wanted to put, if you look over here, I put the beads like the top where the guitar strings go. The only reason I even know so much about a guitar and that it even has these things is because Jillian, before COVID, and we could actually do something, um, took guitar lessons from one of the members of a church that we were a part of. I'm going to do these. Now I'm just picking here. These have a pink brown. These are those iridescent ones that I got off Amazon. And, oh, Really, Ginger, put your finger in there. Let's just pick them up. And I've showed you guys before where I've got my Quick Stick. Again, it's a We Are Memory Keepers. It's called Quick Stick, and you can find that on Amazon as well. There we go. Anyway, so Jillian, by her um, music teacher, was told to pick out a song, and he would teach her to play it and that child comes back with a bon jovi song <laughs> i don't even know it i didn't even know she knew back in 90s 80s and 90s music she wanted to learn how to play that and then we go to the music store and she picks out a led zeppelin uh, uh like you can buy books that has the music written so you can learn how to play the song oh yeah led zeppelin i'm like what i don't think so <laughs> why not that rock and roll. <laughs> There's one. We'll do the next one. It's pretty funny. So her first song, you know, she doesn't want to learn how to play like Twinkle Little Star. No, she wants to play heavy metal. Which my husband, he likes all different kinds of music. He's one of those people you sit in the car with and you never know what you're going to get. Because he is like, he is an old soul. I, I mean, he is seven years younger than me, but he is, I'm just kind of flipping these over. They make it a little bit easier to grab. Hit one minute, he'll be playing Otis Rhett. 
and the next minute he's playing um, a Christian rock band, and the next minute he's playing Johnny Cat. I mean, it's, yeah, it's everywhere. Eminem, it's funny. People, his crew that he works with will be like, Who has, whose playlist is this? Because it's usually three or four guys in the same truck going to location. And oh, there's something stuck on my stick. And um, everybody be like, whose phone is hooked to the Bluetooth? Whose music is this? <laughs> and my son sometimes gets all put on his crew because he works at the same company as my husband. And he'll go, it's my dad's. <laughs> and everybody's like, I didn't know you liked that kind of music. It's pretty funny. Can you imagine listening to a Christian rock band in one minute and the next minute you're listening to Run DMC or or Tupac <laughs> rap music and then the next minute you're listening to Patsy Cline because oh yes it is that extreme but it's funny we all tease him there's two and we're gonna do one more and I will do close-ups at the end so you can see them close up they're really pretty I think sometimes things don't show up on the um video now i did these right oops let's see if i can get some more on the video the way they do in person because sometimes i think things turn out really pretty and then i look at the video and i'm like ah oh, you can barely even see it that's okay that's how it goes sometimes right okay I'm holding off on the scrapbook.com still. Man, do I want to go on there and buy some stuff right now. I found a recipe stamp and recipe card stamp and die cut. Um, I don't want to pull out a whole bunch. Maybe if I just stick it in there, so it'll stick. Um set. It's regular 50 bucks and it's $20. And you guys know I'm gonna do um Oh, I need two more. See, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. A recipe book here in a few weeks. My kids have five weeks of school left. So I would totally use that. But they're not that hard to make yourself. So I'm kind of like, why is there one stuck on my finger? Oh my gosh, my hands are a mess. From inking. Oh, goodness gracious. Fruity pebbles. <sighs> me okay one more I just need one more and then I'll get a baby wipe and wipe my hands off but nope I've put it in my cart four times because I could easily shop some clearance and get that $70 so I get that free shipping I'm just trying to be good trying to be good so okay put my lid back on my glue I'll put I'll hold one of these up here real close give me just one sec my fingers are so yucky there we go that's better oh i'll have to wash them with some soap soap get most of it off okay so let me just use this paper this will work right fold this in half because i'm not going to use this and here is the pink ones and the way they turned out I like them. I hope the people that get them will okay, like so them. Now that we got them all done, we, or I, <laughs> we, in my mind right here, I'm going to close these. I don't want to accidentally make them fly everywhere. Put this away. I'm going to show you how to mail your mini swap. If you already know, because you've been doing it for a while, thank you for watching. I'd be honored if you like and subscribe. And if you click that little bell button, you will be notified when I upload a new video. And for those who want to stay, I'm just going to show you real quick what you're going to do. So when you sign up, I give you the information. Again, the way to sign up is through that Facebook group. So hit that description button, click that link, join the group, and we will have a lot of fun. Um, I am going to stamp the name. You can write it if you want on the back of these embellishments. Okay, now, when you use thinner paper, you'll see that I took a border strip and just glued it to the back. It just gives it a little bit of um, stiffness. 
and you use up scraps, right? So can't be bad. Um, so I'm just going to take, and I know this is thinner paper, so I'm going to use my main stamp here and then I'll do it lightly there and then it won't show through. You can write your name on here. You can um, do it however you like. Mm, that one didn't show up, so I'll do it in another spot. Let's see, sometimes it gets a little tricky, little tricky. There we go. All right, so there's four, and you only have to create four. I'm on many different teams, that's why I have so many. And then once your name's on the back of them, you're going to washi tape them to a piece of cardstock and or, um, you could use notebook paper. The reason we do this is so that they stay flat. Now, when you do this, I want you to turn them upside down. And the reason being is because even though washi tape is supposed to be, you know, removable, sometimes it gets a mind of its own and it will tear your embellishments. So I'm gonna grab some from my reusable stash here. Sometimes it will tear them. So if you flip them over, your, your embellishments will be safer. And I'm just kind of rearranging them on here so they don't all sit in one way or another. Okay. Put this back. All right. So now once you have them, again, let me rearrange them here. Once you have them <clears throat> taped down, you're going to take a standard size envelope. You're going to put your captain's information here. You're going to put your stamps here, your team name here so that your captain knows you know, what team, some of the captains have several different teams. It just helps them sort. It's not mandatory, but it does help them and we appreciate them. So we want to make sure to make it as easy as possible. You're going to slide your embellishments inside there. You see they re lay relatively flat. <clears throat> and you're also going to include a self-addressed stamped envelope. So the trick to this is you're going to put your name and address both to and from so that no matter what happens in the mail, it will come back to you. Mail's a little sketchy these days. Two, two postage stamps here. And if you want to know what swap, if you do more than one, what swap, you can put your team name. Again, not mandatory. You're going to slide that inside. You're going to tape this shut. Tape it shut so that um, it doesn't come open because I've had it come open. I've had envelopes arrive to me with nothing. In fact, the main swap, because I, I captain every main swap, I just had somebody's literally ripped in half. Poor Melissa. It was ripped in half. Everything was everywhere. But the post office was very kind. They put it in a, a post office-like bag, still delivered it to me. And the self-addressed stamp envelope that she happened to put in, which she is not mandatory to do, with her postage of five bucks, because you get 15 embellishments of those, went back to her. How cool is that? <laughs> so no loss. It, it took it a little while to arrive, but it did get to me. However, sometimes it's not that lucky. The embellishments will just misappear and never be seen again. So that's how you do it. That's another swap. I hope you will join us. I hope you have a beautiful blessed day. Like and subscribe and click that little bell button. And then you'll see when I post another um, video. Sometimes it's embellishment. Sometimes it's a layout. And sometimes we just go over some scrappy haul and put away things. But no matter what, we'll have fun. I will see you guys next time and thanks. Bye.